Last month I broke up with my girlfriend and I still feel sad without her. How can I get over a breakup? <laughs> Hello, I'm Luke, and today Childline have sent me some fictional questions to test my skills and see what I'd be like giving advice um, as a friend. Uh, this video is inspired by Childline's Ask Sam surface, which is really cool. Um, if you've got something on your mind, um, you can write an online letter and Sam might answer yours. Um, check the link in the description for how to do that. Um, also remember that I'm not a trained professional, and if you want support and advice, um, you should go to Childline directly. Uh, with that in mind, let's answer these questions. There's a girl that I fancy at my school. I've had a crush on her for a while, but I don't know if she likes me back. How do I know? Uh, so this is a classic question that obviously everyone's, uh, lots of people have probably thought of before. Um, so really there's no way of um, knowing whether you know, you've know you got stuff in common or whether you're really gonna get on unless you speak to each other, obviously. So um, you know you can start small and, and I think lots of people think they need to come up with like uh, something amazing to say or you know do something incredible to like make her really like you. Just start small, just um, try and be as you know relaxed as you can and, and like you would be speaking to anyone. You can, you know, just hello, how are you? you what you're up to today uh, how's your day been like really simple stuff and just start a chat you don't need to come up with something amazing um, you know and maybe you realize you have got stuff in common maybe um, that girl you know isn't ready for a relationship right now and if not then obviously you respect that and and that's okay you know um, and also just try not to worry about it I think like, oh, I was built up in my he head as such a big thing and as I've got older the more relaxed you are and, and the more you kind of um, you know, sort of trust in yourself and, and like yourself, the more that, that um, other people will, will um, you know, also get on with you and, and uh, you'll find someone who's right for you. So try to not worry about it. And if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Last month I broke up with my girlfriend and I still feel sad without her. How can I get over a breakup? Uh, so yeah, this, this is a question, this is something that I've been through and um, it is like sad, you do feel rubbish when, when it happens, um, you know, whichever way round it is, whether, you know, they broke up with you or you broke up with them or it just kind of ended. Like, um, you know, it's okay to feel sad for a little bit because that's, that's, that's okay. Um, then what I'd say is, uh, you know, maybe uh, removing someone from social media is, is quite a good idea because, um, you know, it's okay to not want them in your feed all the time, you know, like always being reminded of, your, of them. Um, so maybe removing from social media is, is a good idea it might feel weird at first but it's probably helpful maybe asking your friends not to kind of bring it up all the time or you know having having one conversation with a close friend and then kind of you know trying to trying to move on um, also just trying to be proactive like get outside play sport um, or if it's gaming you love or whatever it is that you know makes you feel happy um, go and do those things because you can distract yourself and, and over time um, it, it will get better like and it probably won't feel like it at the beginning but give yourself time just keep going keep doing the things you love hanging out with your friends who make you laugh and you will feel better over time and you'll probably work out um, you know that it wasn't quite right and eventually you, you'll meet someone new someone's threatening to leak nude images of me I feel really ashamed and guilty um, I'm worried it's gonna get worse what can I do um, so sometimes whether that is you or it's happened to a friend and they're asking you for advice you might not be able to give the perfect advice so in those situations um, you should definitely point them to Childline who are um, professionals and um, will never judge you and can give you really solid advice because they know about this stuff um, already so that's a really good resource to go to um, also know as well that it's never your fault no one has the right to share images of you without your consent so you know it's, you shouldn't feel ashamed it's not your fault um, yeah so those are the things you should do in that situation so if you have something on your mind um, talking to a friend is sometimes a really good option um, or if you want someone who's you know not connected to you um, you can ask Sam and use that service Sam will never judge you and um, you can also read all the other letters that Sam's answered as well um, so check out the uh, description for the link of how to do that and um, yeah that's a really good service <laughs>